What's up, gang? Saturday morning here at Spirits of French Lick, and it is uh, seed saving day for our Amanda Palmer corn. So we are currently shelling out seed to put away for next year's crop and future crops. So um, one of the many reasons for saving seed is obviously self-sufficiency, and that you can create a profile that matches what you like and the taste and flavor of your crops. Uh, the other reason for seed saving is to further adapt the crop that you're messing with uh, to grow better in its current environment. So uh, every successive generation of seed that we save is further adapted to the environment of the farm on which it's now growing. So I recently did an uh, article about corn and whiskey making for the alchemist cabinet and I might have come to the realization that some of the things that I take for granted as being common knowledge are essentially not common knowledge to most people. So I thought I would take a moment and explain a little bit about what we're doing here. So I'll show you the corn. Amanda Palmer and this is the device that we use to shell that corn off by hand. Now when you're saving seed from corn there's a uh, methodology to it and that methodology works something along these lines. So if you look at the corn you have three sections. You have the tip, you have the middle section, and then you have the butt end. And essentially depending on where that kernel develops on that cob determines the days to maturity of the successive generations. So if you plant tip kernels, you get an earlier crop. Mid kernels, you get a mid-season crop. And then butt kernels gives you a later season crop. So we are essentially just going to save the middle section of these corns for seed. And subsequently, we have separated out three buckets. One that has the corn in it that also has the tips. One that is a good mid-section seed that we're putting away for replanting. And one is butt ends. And that is essentially what I'll spend the rest of my Saturday doing. And I'll enjoy it. But I just thought I'd share with you guys. And I hope you have a good day. And maybe some of this stuff is a little educational for, you know, the laymen or even distillers or even other farmers. And uh, I enjoy sharing it. And I enjoy talking about it. And uh, I think it makes what we do here at Spirits of French Lake fairly unique. Uh, I don't think there are a lot of distilleries that have a plant breeder on staff, uh, short of maybe Leopold Brothers and, and you know, Iron Repub Republic, those guys are, you know, they know what they're doing for sure. But uh, we can all do a better job of getting information out about what makes us unique and special. And uh, for us, this Amanda Palmer corn, you know, this is essentially 10 years of my life. And uh, to be able to share the way that that crop is preserved and maintained, and also to, uh, to share the, uh, the product that's going to be made from that with people is uh, that's just a dream for me. I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. That's why I got into doing all this stuff. So you folks have a great Saturday, and we'll catch up with you later.